how to develop the skill of playing by ear. When you aren't reading music, how do you know what to play when you're reading a chart like this in church? I've been playing French horn in churches since I was in the eighth grade. And this is how I learned to do it. What do you play when you are reading a chord chart like this instead of reading music? This is what you'd call playing by ear, but understanding a little bit of theory will help you do it. Every note that you see on the page, you can play the note a fifth above. In horn speak, we call this transposition. The key of this song is G, so the key on French horn will be D, a perfect fifth above G. So knowing my D major scale will help me to add moving scale patterns to what I am playing. Let's practice some major scales. I'm gonna put in my mute and I'm gonna try to get a quick workout session in. When it comes to playing by ear, knowing your scales is key. So when I practice, I like to run through all my scales, all my major scales, starting on C, two octaves. So I'm going chromatically up. I start on C, then C sharp, then D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and B. As I'm practicing, I'm not focused on tone quality or even accuracy. I'm just focused on thinking about the notes in the key signature. Because when I go to play a song, sometimes I'm playing songs in the key of E on French horn in that E key signature, and it's it's not easy. So I'm just concentrating on playing the right notes. And I'm also working on my corner seal because that is something I've been working on changing and trying to get better at. messy but a little bit is better than nothing. I did practice more scales than what I've put in this video. I really don't want to torture you any more than I have to. Listening to brass players practicing isn't always the best listening experience. It is the performance that you are working towards that is enjoyable to listen to.